Hey guys, so it is a hot day today. So apparently it is 98 degrees right now. I don't know what the heat index is, but I'm sure it's like in the triple digits. So yeah, it's really hot. Our cannas are actually doing really good. They've done a lot better this year. Really good. So uh, this video, I'm going to do a video. It'll be a video response to uh, John 3800's video on when he was uh, mixing up gas and oil for his, for, for his lawn boy mowers. So I'm going to do the same thing here, except I'm going to mix up a 50 to 1 gas oil mix. Instead, in his video, he mixed up a 32 to 1 mix, but it's actually no different. So basically, just real easy to do. I just bought uh, one, there's only one gallon of gas in this two gallon container. Gas today was 3.34 a gallon. It's actually been going down, believe it or not. See, a few days ago I paid three forty-six a gallon. See, a few days ago when I filled up my car. So it's been going down. Okay, so I got three different types of uh, two-stroke oil right here, which I'm going to be using here, which is Echo Power Blend. This this container is 2.6 ounces, which that's the amount that we would need for one gallon of gas for a 50 to 1 mixture, which that means 50 parts gasoline and then one part of two-stroke oil. And then this is what I use for the Lawn Boy 8461. Use Lawn Boy two-cycle oil. And as you can see right here on the uh, the Lawn Boy uh, two-stroke oil, it has directions here. This is an eight-ounce container. This says for like ratios and for how much gas. Usually, for most Lawn Boys, use the 32 to one gas oil mix. So you mix two gallons of gas in with this entire uh, can which is eight ounces for a 32 to 1 gas oil mix and the same thing with this this one quart container of Valvoline multi-purpose two cycle engine oil this is actually pretty good oil it was a whole lot cheaper too and it's also got directions right here I know it's a lot harder to see on here says for a 32 to 1 gas oil mix, if, you're, if you only need just one gallon of gas, you only need just four ounces of two-stroke oil into just one gallon of gas for a 32 to 1. And it says for a 50, 50 to 1, you need just three ounces of oil into one gallon of gas. So pretty much on most two-stroke equipments that are pretty much that you'll find today require either a 50 to 1 like these Echo equipment or on uh, some other equipment I think either the Weedier brand or Poulon and Troy Belts and Craftsman's I think those all use a 40 to 1 gas oil mix. Usually if you're not too sure on what your mix ratio is on your uh, two-stroke equipment, it will, it will say. It will say it on either your gas cap or in your owner's manual. So just make sure to check that. And you always want to make sure you use the mix up your, the correct ratio because using the incorrect ratio, like in your two-stroke equipment, can ruin your engine. 
and also do not put just straight gas in your two-stroke equipment. That will literally just destroy your engine. The reason on why having the only way on how two-stroke equipments get their lubrication is by putting the oil in the gasoline and don't use just like regular motor oil just two cycle engine oil alright so enough of me blabbering here let's get to work okay so this container here it is emptied as you can see so as far as whatever uh, whatever grade of gas you use, it doesn't really matter on what kind. You could use either either regular unleaded fuel, which is octane 87. I have uh, the uh, mid grade, which is octane 89, which that's what Echo recommends. Usually, for most uh, like equipments, like either the Echos or even stills, they require to use either a 89 octane fuel or higher if you mix on mixing your two-stroke fuel. But usually in usually in these equipments I usually would rather use the the higher octane fuel. Except for when I mix gas for the Lawn Boy 8461. I use just regular unleaded gas. You can use it. So first thing we're gonna do we're gonna fill up this container only half halfway. So we're gonna do that right now. Fill it up about halfway. I normally don't do all this here at home. I normally do it when I'm at the station. Okay, so let me put just a bit more in and then we should be Alright, so the gas container should be halfway full now. Now we'll put in our two-stroke oil. And this is the oil that I'm going to be using here, which is Echo Power Blend two-stroke oil. This is 2.6 ounces. We're going to... Our gas container is halfway full, so we'll put this whole container of two-stroke oil into the gas can. Make sure it's all in there. Okay. So now we're going to put our lid back on our gas container and then we are going to shake it up. Just shake it up like so. All right. Once we give it a little bit of shakes, we'll just top her off. All right. So now we've done all our done all our shaking. So now we'll just top off our gas. I'm just going to put the remaining gas in this can that was out of this two-gallon can, which all there was in it was just one gallon of gas. And we'll just do that. I think we're pretty much all emptied. Now we'll just put our put our cap back on and shake it up again. All right, give us some good shakes here. Sometimes I kind of want to 
open that up a little bit, kind of let out some of the vapors out. Just keep on shaking. And we're done. Oh, so before I just let you guys go, I'm going to add in, I'm going to put in some sea foam into the gas to help extend the, the life of the gas because gas only has a life of 30 days before it'll start to go bad and start to lose its volatility. So for the directions here that we need, yeah it says here when used for two or four cycle engines, it says for and it says for for two stroke gas you put in two ounce per gallon of gas so we need just two ounces of it and we'll do that all right so I got this little cup here so we're gonna put about a quarter cup of sea foam in it which a quarter cup is two ounces So I'll do that. Don't worry if you put just maybe a little bit too much and it won't hurt it at all. And not only seafoam will even stabilize the gas, it'll even keep the engine all clean from any gunk of gunk of carbon crud that you would see on two stroke engines. All right, so I got a funnel up here on my can. So I got two ounces of sea foam. We'll just pour all that sea foam in. And we're done. So that's basically on how you uh, make two-stroke gas. Real easy. So uh hope you guys enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching.